And now for a change of pace, the toy test that might save you some cash and keep the kids happy at the same time. It proves the most expensive toy is not always the one a child will like best. Now we've assembled a team of experts to find the top toys on the market. And as Adine Cassidy reports, the best news is they're all under $30. Hi, my name's Ali. It's a tough job, but some 10-year-old has to do it. Ali is an official Kmart toy tester. Wow, so cool. Toys bring joy to children, and usually a lot of expense for parents. For birthdays and things like that, I probably spend for about maybe from $150 to $200 maybe, but from like weekly basis, maybe $40, $50. How many times have you seen toys sitting in a corner, lonely, unused, discarded? Don't you get it? We're done, finished, over the hill. Hey, 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 now come on, guys. We all knew this day was coming. Yeah. To help, Kmart has assembled this crack team of tiny toy testers. Who is an official toy tester? Me! Yes. They're nailing down the top 10 toys for boys and girls, all under $30. Well, there's no doubt this year that we're seeing really families are really budget conscious and with that what we're really focusing on is how do we get great quality toys under $30 so that every Australian family can really afford the toy range. While many of the preschoolers involved in the toy testing weren't quite sure what it was all about. Why have you got the white coat on today? But they do know their stuff. Kmart's head of toys, Nicole Shooter, says 400 toys were road tested. The good news for parents, the most popular were the cheapest. I think the great thing in what we saw was kids were really looking for things to, for activity. We saw lots of craft, music, remote control, but we saw some great examples of where there was no difference between girls or boys. They played with the same toys and they really mixed in really well. Here's the verdict from the experts. For preschoolers, the top three are A to Z plush costumes, Barbie and Tawny set, Mega Bubbles Generator. The schoolboys came up with this top three. Twin pack radio control drifting cars, a Nerf dart tag starter kit, Southern Star Retro Cruiser. And for schoolgirls, the winners are remote control three channel gyroscope helicopter, Lego Friends Butterfly Beauty Shop, and Sticky Mosaics Wild Horses. And what has been your favourite toy today? The crane. Yeah. Why do you like the crane so much? Because, because it's because it can turn around. Uh -huh. I do think parents need to just find a balance. Um, you know, toys are wonderful tools, but just be careful about going overboard. Children don't need every single toy on the market to be able to have fun. Child psychologist Colette Smart runs Family Smart. She's not surprised old-fashioned favourites like Lego and dress-ups rate so highly. Well, a toy that's good is something that uh, stimulates imagination, stimulates imaginative play, stimulates role play and, and also gives a child a chance to explore social skills that they can take out into the real world and practice. While many parents fear TV and screen time is taking over, the average child spends seven hours a day in front of a screen, these mini lab testers have proved the right toy can generate hours of entertainment even for the big kids. Has this been like the best day ever? Yes. I bet. Like we said, it's a tough gig. That's awesome. And the full list of the top 10 toys as judged by those experts are on our website. So go and spend some money this week.